How's it going everybody? It's Shane and finally got back to correcting the uh, stepper driver from the last episode. This is actually taking place after Hurricane Ian which really dodged a bullet there. Uh, definitely heart goes out to those in Fort Myers and all that area. They got socked pretty hard by that thing. But that's not what this video is about. This one's about getting the stepper driver finally up and operational. And this one is the Z. Ironically, what was keeping this thing from working last time was there is a specific do uh, resistor that was in there. And apparently I had crispied it a little bit to where the resistance went way, way up. It was uh, tens of thousands of ohms instead of a couple hundred. <laughs> anyway, now that that's all back connected... Let's go ahead and turn this thing back on. You'll notice some of this is a little bit different setup. Last time I had this all on a box. Not this time. So, okay, it says connection is established. Let's go ahead and pull this thing back up. Go over to here. Simple machine, yay! Fire that up. Okay, now same test as I've done with the other ones. Go ahead, hit play. Yep, there it goes. And there that goes. Okay, got the button here. Come on. Okay, so that is the Z operational. Now I did have a little bit of a contingency plan in case this did not work. And that was this guy. Move this over here. Maybe if I can just keep this thing in focus. Come on! Out of the box! There we go. Brand new Kelling 8060, the E version. Now there are some external differences with this. The main one I can see is the heat sink. The fins aren't quite as big. Let's see if I can hold this in a way you can actually see the difference here. There's the old 8060. Here's the new one. Now it may be that they're not making that specific uh, heat sink extrusion anymore I don't know hopefully it's the old one was way overkill and they didn't need as much heat sinking on the new one considering how much I'm overbuilding this whole thing it's I doubt it's really gonna matter anyway but there have there are differences so at least that's what this one what also means is I now have a spare 8060 well it really one spare this was kind of done as a if one didn't work out, I was going to go the other way anyway. So that means this thing will now be a fourth axis driver. Whereas my other controller was only a three axis. So stay tuned to that one. Because this soon is going to be a four axis CNC. Even though I don't have the rotary axis for it yet. Oh well, if it's not one thing, it's another. So with all that said... Till next time, see ya.